Hi everyone. Are you currently teaching in Microsoft Teams and trying to assign cute little worksheets like these that you might find online that are in a PDF format that your students are unable to write over or share? So I want to go ahead and show you a couple ways that you can give this to them and in the assignment feature and they will still be able to type or write over the top. So this is going to be our sample document for this activity. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the internet, to my Google Chrome browser, where I have up the very first option. This website is called PDF Candy. Just go to pdfcandy.com. And you can see here where you can do lots of different things with your PDF documents. And in order to use this in Microsoft Teams, the first thing that you might be tempted to do is click right here where it says PDF to Word. However, this will convert your PDF to an older version of a Word document. So you really need to navigate all the way over here to the right. And you're going to convert a PDF to a DOCX. That's the new version. So we're going to click there. We're going to choose Add File to locate the specific location in our File Folder menu. Once that opens, use the left menu to navigate to the right location to find your file on the right. Just double click on the name of that file and it is automatically converting our document. And then all you have to do is click download file when it's done. Now I'm going to navigate over to my Teams class. And here I have gone into my team. I have opened the appropriate class. I chose assignments at the top and then I chose new assignment. So here I've given it a title. I've given my students specific instructions. I want them to be able to open it online and complete the problems and then make sure to return to this location and click turn in when finished. This is important so the teacher can view the completed work and give it a grade. But right here where it says add resources, this is where we're going to add our converted document. It's going to open up our file explorer menu one more time. At the very bottom, we're going to upload from this device because it should be in our downloads file. And when I navigate to downloads, which is already there, you can see right here, this is going to be the last version and it is a DOCX file. I'm going to double click. It's uploading that file and I'm going to click done. And you can see right here in my assignment, it says that students can't edit this file. So I'm going to need to navigate to the right hand side to these three dots. And I'm going to choose students edit their own copy. So when they click on this and open it online, each student will be able to complete his or her own copy of the work, which the teacher will be able to grade and view immediately. I can save this assignment or I can click assign. I'm going to leave this here so I can go ahead and show you some other options. Now, many of you are already preferred to use Microsoft Word. So here I'm just open to a blank Word document. There's a new conversion feature right here in Microsoft Word. So all you have to do is go to File. And right here, as if you were opening a new blank Word document, if I now navigate to the bottom and go to my file folder menu, I can actually just drag this PDF document by holding down the mouse and bringing it over here to the blank document and letting it go right on top of the document. And it's asking me that it's going to now go ahead and convert my PDF document to an editable Word document. I'm just going to say OK. As soon as it is done making that conversion, it should open right up in Microsoft Word. Perfect. At the very top, I might want to click Enable Editing. Choose OK. And now I just need to make sure that I go ahead and save this in a location of my choice so that I can find it to attach it to my team's assignment. So I'm just going to go to File, Save As. And again, go ahead and choose what file location here at the top. If you need more options, you can click here to open your file folder menu. Mine is going to be named the same. 
I'm going to change the end so I know it is the final version of this document and it's in my documents folder in math and click save. Now if I'd like I can go back to teams. I can choose to leave this again. This was just one option. I can remove it. I can add this other resource. It's going to, again, look through my OneDrive folder at the very bottom, upload from this device. And this time I need to map, navigate to Documents and Math. And here it is, Fall Times 9 Mystery Worksheet Final. It's attaching a copy. I'm going to choose Done. And again, look, it says students can't edit. To so remember what we have to do, just click these three dots and choose students can edit their own copy so that when you choose to assign it, they will be able to click and open to this document online. Let me show you just one more way that might work for you. So this time we're going to navigate back to the internet and I'm gonna open what I've created is an online Office 365 PowerPoint template. Now, most of our templates go from side to side in a landscape orientation, but instead I went here to the design tab and I chose right here for slide size and I chose custom slide size and I changed this here to letter paper. Yours will not be on this by default. And then after I chose the letter paper, I just simply clicked portrait instead of landscape and clicked OK. I'm going to click cancel so it saves what I already have. Now you can take your PDF file and put it right into the background of this PowerPoint template. So that way students can write or type over the top. Now in order to do this, we're going to need to insert a picture of our PDF. So we have a couple options. We can go back to our PDF candy and we can convert our PDF over here on the right to a JPEG file. Again, we're going to choose to add the file. We're going to choose our PDF original. We're going to choose our quality. Let's see if I can get high quality and choose convert PDF. I now have a PDF JPEG file, which I can download. I'm going to navigate back over to my PowerPoint file. And now I'm looking for the background. Now you only have this background feature if you've chosen the design tab in PowerPoint. Go to background and click the drop down arrow and choose picture from file. And remember, now we're no longer looking for the PDF. We are looking for our new JPEG file. I'm going to click choose file and here is the image for my fall mystery worksheet and I'm going to double click choose insert and now the image of my PDF document is here in the background. One other quick way that you can grab a snapshot of your PDF file is to go down to the search bar on the bottom left corner of your computer and type in snipping tool. Now this is a default Microsoft product, so you should find that. You should be able to click and open this app. This is going to allow you to take pictures of anything you have on your screen, anywhere on the internet or on your desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate back to my PDF all I have to do on the snipping tool is click new and I'm going to drag these hash marks around the area that I want to take a picture of. Once that comes up, I would hit save. Make sure to save that image in a file location that I could later find so I could also import my JPEG file into the background on my PowerPoint. But some of you might be saying, well, how do my students actually complete the work? So what you can do is on the left, you can either click insert, 
and choose a text box. This is very helpful for younger students. And you can just have it to say click to add text or teach them that they can add their own text box just the same. Or they can also go to draw and they can choose any pen tool and they can actually answer right over the top of this file. And as the teacher, you'll be able to see any of these edits directly from the team's assignment. So in this case, when you chose add resources, you would simply be looking for that particular PowerPoint file instead of the Word document that we originally used. So easy peasy, make sure that each attachment that you create says students can edit their own copy and save the assignment for another time or click assign. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.